Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away, and we have now got <laughs> issue 56 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, we have got nine issues delivered in the like, over the weekend, so I've got 56 all the way to 64, so this week you are going to be inundated with videos while I catch up, and I am so grateful to get this. We're not going to go into, the into the reasons why we didn't get this. And if you're watching this in the future, then, you know, these videos are just going to flow on. But if you're watching it any date from the 19th of March, 2018, you'll know there hasn't been a video for some time. Um, all of this is going to be do with electrics. Let me just show you here. Look, uh, all of the to do with electrics. So it's going to be plugging cables into a circuit board and then mounting the circuit board onto uh, this lovely thing here. So let's put that to one side. And as you can see, if I take this off, I have already laid everything out. So all we're going to do now, all of these, uh, let me just show you these first. All of these cables that they delivered do have numbers on them. And the numbers there, number four, corresponds with the numbers on the side there, number four. Um, if I do get confused, they've also listed the colors in here as well. I'm color blind, so I'm just going to wing it and see how we get to okay but first thing we're going to do step one we're going to grab this uh unit here and holding it this way around we're going to be plugging uh cable 56b which is marked number one which is this one here and it does say it's a white cable which it is uh, and it's going to be plugged into the uh number one port here i'm just seeing if it's a way that it goes round. the way that they're putting them round is with the numbers facing out. So the numbers on the side there will be facing out. So that is just going to go in number one, just like so. Bada bang! Can you see that? I've got the number one facing out. That was step one. Step two, we're going to get the lead that says number two. Where's my lead? That one there. And once again, that's going to go next to it with the number facing out. So we'll plug that in next to it. Oh, push down, get in there. There we go. I just want to make sure that they're all the way pushed down, all the way there, just so you can see on that side camera there. Uh, step three, we're going to be having a one that says labelled number three. This is easy, isn't it? Uh, doing exactly the same thing, putting it into the one next to it. There we go. That's three of them in. Uh, step four, guess what we got to do? <laughs> Grab the one that says number four and do exactly the same thing, and that one goes next to it. Well, what I'm going to do once they're all in... But make sure that they're all lined up and they're all getting good contact just like that there that's perfect actually it might be better on the top camera uh step five ah this is where things change now we're going to be pushing the end of lead 56f marked number seven which is this one here uh, and that's going to be going into slot seven so we're skipping two and making sure that this is put into number seven which is this one right oh just past a, a little gap there right there there we go and that's that one in number seven that was step five uh, step six, a lead that says 13 is going to go into slot 13. Oh, this is so easy, isn't it? Look, we could just, we're going to whiz through this issue. And that's into number 13 there. So we've got it all looking like that. Uh, step seven, we're going to be pushing a uh, lead 56H, mark 20, which is this one here. And it's going to be turning around and going into the slot that says 20. So we find slot that says 20. Uh, that one just there. Oops get in there and that's going to go in so number 20 just so you know is four from the uh from the end making sure that's lined up because the number's just a slightly offset on this side so you just count four pins in and make sure that one's in so that's number 20 uh that was step seven and step eight we've got this really big long lead here uh that's going to be going into 21 which is the one right next to it we put that in just like so that's all the cables in how easy was that that's not the issue over though what they want us to do now is they want us to attach this just uh, show you on this side. Or is it on better? On the, yeah, it's better on the side camera there. Uh, we're going to be attaching this just to this bit here, which is why we had to put tape in there, because uh, obviously we don't want these contacts here uh, to touch the metal with the pins. But the way around this is goes is going to be, whoops, with the white to the top. So that's going to be going in just like that. And this is step nine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this screwed in. This is screwed in with FP screws, and these get provided with this issue. So let's uh, open the pack the screws out there we go and we'll get these put in so i'm just loading the screwdriver up and we'll put this in where it goes just like that first screw in now these screws are going in absolutely lovely so i'm just going to get one in not putting it too tight ready for the second one oops 
tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to brighten that camera up just a touch. There we go. So you can see what I'm doing. Second screw in. Once I've got two screws in, this thing won't be moving. So that's the second one in. Lovely. Two more. Now in this issue, we don't have to test the electrics. So I'm not going to, but with the next nine that I'm about to build, if we haven't had to test the electrics before that, I will be doing it. Cause I have had some emails saying that uh, when they're pushing some of these buttons, the, uh, the lights aren't coming on, which isn't good, is it? So we will get that fixed. Let's just put this last screw in. There we go. And that's all of them in there. That was step nine done. Now step 10, we've got a yellow lead. Uh, which comes out from the back of the unit here, which is one of these leads. Now, I've uh, I've wrapped all of my leads up so that uh, they're all wrapped together. Now, there's only one lead which comes out from the back, which is yellow completely. You've got a yellow and orange here. You've got a yellow and black there. Um, and you've got a yellow and white. But there's only one lead which is yellow, and it's a lead that's marked number five. Uh, and guess where this goes? <laughs> Into number five of this dashboard. So I'm just having a look where number five is. It goes right next to number four. There we go. So we're going to get this one in. A little bit tricky getting this one in now because we've already got a load in, but number five is in. That's perfect. That was step 10 done. Step 11, we've got the yellow and black lead now, which uh, we've got here, which is labeled number 14, I believe. Oh no, it's yellow and brown. Sorry, God, my color blindness is terrible. Um, I've got a yellow and brown lead, which is labeled 18 on their. Uh, on their little thing here. Oh, I've got it here, yep, yellow and brown. I've got that, and that's gonna go into the, the port 18. So, uh, oh, let's just take that one out. I'm not happy with how one of these look. Let's put that back in. There we go. Yeah, so number 18 is gonna go in slot 18. It's good how they put the numbers up, I have to say, because um, if I, if we were just relying on colors, I would we'd be having a really bad time right now. A really, really bad time. There we go, so that's number 18 in. So we've got 18, 20, and 21 in that side. Can you see that from the top there? Uh, that was step um, 11. Step 12, we're gonna be putting um, lead 17 in. That's the yellow and white one. And that's obviously gonna be going into number, God, we're getting tangled with wires here. That's gonna be uh, mirroring what it says here. Now this one don't, doesn't have a number on it. Just looking at the side of it. It doesn't have a number at all. So we just need to make sure that goes in the same way as all the others. This is the uh, yellow and white one that goes right next to the one we just put in oh 17 it does have a number in <laughs> i've just taken a little bit of black paint off of it and the number disappeared so there we go number 17 goes into point 17 and the last one um step 13 we're going to be putting mark 14 onto the board 14. how easy is this issue this is great <laughs> i wish they were all like this there we go, and then that's that one there as well. So the only leads coming out the back now that we haven't connected to anything is obviously this big lead, which I'm guessing eventually is gonna go in there. Uh, this is probably gonna need, uh, oh, I don't know where it goes. We'll figure that one out later. But uh, that's it, that's that issue completed. So it's looking like that. I'll show you from the top camera there. And then that is issue 56 completed. It's great to be back. It's great to be building. So I hope you like that video. We're gonna have nine videos coming out this week. So I hope you do like those videos. Take care.